All right, Virgo, before I start your May of 2023 um, message, I want to let you know that I am doing private readings. Well, personal readings. I'm sorry. Personal readings and private readings. Um, the description and information is in the box, but I want to give you a quick overview that I am offering six questions for $50. You will email me your questions. I'll provide the email across the screen in just a second. And um, you email me your questions. No health questions. Please, no health questions. Um, with that, and um, because I feel like if anything with health related, you can seek to your um medical professional for anything with health questions. Um, with that, you email me your questions, and I will give you confirmation that I have received your questions, and then we'll proceed with payment via Cash App or PayPal. And then, if you give me five days, please to respond to your um give you your reading um, will be through an unlisted message through YouTube and I will email you the link for that. Um, like I said, just give me at least five days. I do a lot of other things. I wear many other hats besides um, Pinnacle Queen. So just give me five days and I'll have the reading back to you. But like I said, all the information is in the description box. I just want to give you a quick overview so I can go ahead and start your reading for Virgo of May of 2023. So let's get it. All right, Virgo. May of 2023. This is your reading. We're starting with the Everyday Witch Tarot deck. And then we're moving to the Oracle cards. All right. Okay. Let's see here. Virgo. May of 2023. Virgo, May of 2023. There we go. All right. We're starting with, oh, there'll be no reversals. We have temperance. Okay. Very good. We have temperance and we have six of swords. All right. Very good. Temperance and six of swords that I'm reading for you for the month of May of 2023. Now with the six of swords, we see that the person has six swords in their backpack getting on the good foot and walking away. Okay. And then you have temperance. Now you're like, well, wait a minute, the six of swords, you get someone taking stuff and running away with it and everything like that with you, Virgo, May of 2023. This may sound like an odd message, but bear with me. Okay. I feel you know how like when people used to say you're tap dancing on my last nerve? I think this is kind of like a good indication. I mean, you probably be like, well, hey, how is that a positive message? Look, I'm not sugarcoating things for anybody. Okay. I feel that when this might, if this does not resonate with you, Virgo, please check your other, uh, other placements. But this could be meant for someone. But I feel that... <laughs> With the temperance, looking at this card right here, she has that one eye open and she's in this pose. And I have done that eye to people when you are getting on my last nerve that I have to literally close my eye because my other eye is ticking. And the reason why you're like, but what does the six of swords have to do with everything with that? Because the six of swords, I feel like you, you're, you're sneaking away, you know? And that's why I feel like you're tap dancing on my last nerve. It's like you're taking my patience and I, you shouldn't take my patience, but you're tap dancing on my last nerve, Virgo. Not, you know, that's how I feel like your energy could be. That someone is just aggravating you right now. And I know you kind of like, you don't want anybody to take your energy that way, but there are people who can have that effect on people. It's like when I used to have that um, theory that when people, you could be in a great, fantastic mood and then they come in with their aggravated, angry mood. And then when they leave, you're ag angry and aggravated and they're feeling fine. That's the mood that I'm getting, Virgo, that this is the energy that you're in. It, it's just you, someone is tap dancing on your nerves. Someone is giving you negative vibes. It's just kind of like, I want to be in my personal space but you're just yeah. <laughs> okay but let's look at the psychic tarot of the heart and let's see what they have to say 
for Virgo May of 2023. Now that's what I'm getting. But we're going to follow up with some Oracle. Let's dive in a little bit more with this, okay? Let's see here. That's what I'm getting so far. All right. We have Daydreams and Decisions, okay? Daydreams and Decisions, interesting. Then we have Rest and Reconsider. This came up in my other reading, these two cards. Then we have Giving and Receiving, interesting, because this came up in my other reading. And then we have dedicated effort. Now, I am perplexed, but I'm not going to be perplexed. Because these cards came in a different order in my reading for Leo. But it is a totally different message. So, we're going to go with this. The temperance is of the rest and reconsider. Okay. The daydreams and decisions, because the fact, like I told you, you're someone's tap dancing on your last nerves. The dedicated effort of what you are trying to put into your life, which that temperance pose, that yoga pose, because you're trying your best to be in your energy of happiness. And like with the giving and receiving, it's kind of like I'm giving my all, but I'm receiving aggravation right now is what I'm sensing. That's why this is in a different direction. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that this is a negative reading, Virgo. Don't take it as that. I'm going to get one more card. Detach. See, that's what I thought. Because someone is literally just getting on your last nerve, Virgo. I don't know how many people. It could be one person. It could be multiple people. But it's kind of like you're like, I just... Yeah, and I understand how that can be because you can be around people who get on your nerves so bad that you just like, if I could just take a vacation from you for just a few days that you're not around me, I would be happy. And it sounds like, wow, who in the world can get, it is possible, okay? All right, let's go with the Moonology. Let's see what Moonology has to say for Virgo, May of 2023. So basically, like I said, some of the tap dancing on your last nerve, okay? A fiery climax approaches. Okay. When that a fiery climax approaches, be easy, Virgo. Don't let your temper get the best of you. Okay. Because if someone can keep testing you, you can blow your top. All right. We have your commitment is being tested. Like I said, they're tap dancing on your nerve. Just to see, you know, the universe sometimes can do things and it's just like a test to, you know, to see if you can handle this, you can handle the other things in life. I'm going to give you that be easy peasy and then squeezy. All right. Hold your vision. That means hold tight. That's what her eye being, one eye being closed, one eye being open. It's like I'm holding on, but I'm still, you know, work through your fears. In other words... I'm going to stay in this temperance mode, but, you, you, you know, and it's that kind of like, I'm going to, I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to stand firm. I'm, I'm holding on. I'm working through. Okay. All right, Virgo. Now let's go with the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. That's what they have to say for you, Virgo, May of 2023. Like I said, not all my readings are going to be, be sunshine and roses and happiness. No. I'm going to tell you what the universe wants me to tell you. And it's like, hey, like I said, but this does not resonate with you. Please check your other placements. All right, let's go. The high priestess. <laughs> See, meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. Like I said, someone's getting on your last nerve. Sometimes you got to go by yourself. And that's where it said detach. That's where it says meditate. You got to. Okay. Then we have the seven of swords. Are you serious? Yes. A loss of peace of mind, a personal freedom. Like I said, someone is just aggravating you, Virgo. Yes. That's, yes. Okay. The same, it's basically the same thing. Okay. 
The five of wands. Conflicts with others cause opposing opinions. That's what I'm telling you. Someone is getting on your last nerve. Virgo. Okay. And I don't. Is is I'm not going to lie to you. Month of May. If they're not already getting on your nerve now. They're going to be getting. You know. It's been ongoing. Ten of wands. Working too hard. Too many hours. The need for balancing your life. Let others help you. Health problems due to stress. If someone aggravates you so much that you get stressed, that's not good. But people will try your what? Patience. I've had people get on my nerves so bad that, yes, it made me sick. Yes, literally. You know, no, like literally. Like, yes. Blood pressure run up. So on and so forth. All that. Yes. And you shouldn't. But Virgo, yeah, this is what's going on. But let's keep going. Okay, the Priestess of Light Oracle deck. Let's see what they have to say. Healing the heart. Here we go. Here we go. Power of self-love. So this is what you got to do. You got to dig deep, Virgo. You got to get all up in your ventricles of your heart. And you're going to have to pull out some things that you know because... You don't want people to make you this angry. You don't want that. You don't want that. Okay. Building your world. Creation, expansion, networking. Build your world. Okay. Bubble. Put yourself in that um, energy bubble. Bubble. Where nobody can bother you. Okay. Divine masculine. Electric act of power. Like I said. Okay. Like an electric field around you. Metaphorically, okay? Sensuality. Feminine wisdom and passion. There's your balance right there. You have to balance yourself out because when someone is sitting there, you got to have both your, your, your both sides keep you focused. All right? Okay, Virgo. Now let's move to your Sacred Forest Oracle deck. Let's see what they have to say for Virgo, May of 2023. Stability, like I said, the balance, the masculine and the feminine, that's giving you your balance. Transmutation, Phoenix. You can get away from this. Just keep like the Phoenix above the ashes. Joy. You will have some joy back. Just get over this. Give you the own, bu own bubble. You'll have some joy. Focus, like I said, I just had it out of my mouth. Focus. Temperance. Focus on yourself, your self love. Yourself, whatever it is, put yourself in a bubble. Okay? All right, Oracle of the Seven Energies. Let's see what they have to say for Virgo, May of 2023. All right. The Land Between. Like I said, the Land Between, happiness, joy, peace, whatever it is. Okay? Opening to discovery. That means that you're going to open yourself up and say, you know what? I'm going to be calm, put myself in that bubble. I'm not going to let you aggravate me anymore. In perfect harmony. That's being in harmony with yourself. Okay? Roots of abundance. This is telling me that you just have to be within yourself and that your comments will be abundant to you. Now you have to dig deep like roots. Okay? All right, Virgo, we're coming to the end of your reading for May of 2023. Let me get the messages from your higher self. So let's see what they have to say. Messages from the higher self. Rise above the dark days of life. Do don't do not fight them, but have faith that the light will always return. That's like we were saying right here. The land between rise above. All right. Live playfully with a light heart. That means put your heart into it. Put yourself in that own bubble. Don't let anyone keep getting you on your nerves. You are caught up in drama. Act to free yourself, change and blossom again. That's what we were talking about. The phoenix, the transfer uh, transformation. Okay. Blossom again. 
Follow your vision. Never lose sight of what's really important. When people get on your nerve, don't lose sight of the important picture. They're just there to aggravate you, but you keep doing what you're doing. You keep your eyes on what you have to do. All right, Virgo, for May of 2023. All right, that was your reading for May of 2023. Like I said, if it does not resonate with you, please check your other placements. I hope this message encourages you. I hope it gives you some insight. But with that being said, I got to go. Y'all have a great day and I'll see you later. Love you. Bye. Oh, stay focused and don't let anyone steal your joy. Love you.